Good morning, folks. We're going to be analyzing space weather. We're going to keep the cold weather news train going, and we're going to be looking at new science on Antarctica, volcanoes, and hurricanes. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. The solar flaring has continued. It's not the incoming spots, but the departing spot on the south. It reached M5 X-ray emission during the flare earlier this morning and erupted a CME that largely resembled the last one from the region. You'll see that eruption bottom right side here. The solar flare occurred in the overnight hours, and you can see the plasma ripple away from the active region during that eruption. Like the last eruption, this was somewhat minor and is mostly aimed away from the Earth. There is a small chance we'll take a glancing blow from it. It would not be major. But we may now have two glancing blows on their way to Earth as we head towards the weekend. There was another eruption yesterday and it was a full halo, but it went off the far side directly away from the Earth. This was the subject of last night's video. But more interesting than the far side eruption or the small CMEs released from the departing spots is the quiescence of the incoming massive sunspots. It's amazing these have gone so quiet over the last two days. There is significant magnetic mixing in the middle of the umbral cores. The sunspot group has significant size, and there are two areas within it where the blue and red opposing polarities are colliding in delta-class fashion. We'll see if it continues its quiet as it faces Earth over the next two days. Up next, we're off to China, where a recent snowstorm has stranded millions of people who were aiming to go celebrate the Lunar New Year. Major snowfall rivaling those that just happened in Alaska and Nova Scotia. And speaking of cold, we're going to Antarctica next, where they are discovering that the circumpolar current is actually not what's responsible for the permanent ice in the south. This puts a major kink in the propaganda fear piece that disruption of this current will cause the ice to melt. They're going to have to come up with a new way to scare us about Antarctica. Up next, we're going to Greece. They have discovered sediment evidence of a super eruption half a million years ago, far bigger than they thought was possible at Santorini. Now, the Campi Flegri volcano nearby in Italy is still the scariest potential in the region, but now it appears there is another major eruptive risk in that area as well. Last but not least, folks, this one kind of grinds my gears. It was nine years ago that I first said Category 6 hurricanes would become a thing in the future because of the extremification of storms as Earth's magnetic field continues weakening. Now, they are suggesting the same thing, except they are going to blame it on global warming. You can bet that the severity of those storms is coming and that they're going to get the cause completely wrong. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.